Hello YouTube, Dave here again, and uh, today I'm kind of excited because I was able to pick up an advanced copy of the Dungeon Tiles Reincarnated City set. Uh, so the Dungeon Tiles uh, Reincarnated, which I don't really like the name, but anyway, Reincarnated seems to be their, their big thing uh, with 5th edition, but the Dungeon Tiles Reincarnated are uh, tile sets, there's three different ones, there's the Dungeon, the Wilderness, and the City. And uh, they're scheduled to release on January 23rd. Um, so today, at the time that I'm recording this, it's January 11th. So they're still almost two weeks before they are set to come out. So I was able to I pick up one of the three sets today. And I had my choice. And I chose to go with the one that the viewers had really wanted to see the most when I did my announcement video for this product way back in... Uh, geez, I can't remember what that was now. I want to say it was probably October or November. And uh, so that was the set that everybody wanted to see. And in this video, I will be comparing it to the 2010 Dungeons & Dragons Dungeon Tiles Master Set, uh, the city product as well. Uh, the major differences is this came with uh, 10 sheets of dungeon tiles. The new product comes with 16. And we'll look at the back and I'll show off some of the things inside because this set is probably the most intact of the uh, the three uh, dungeon tile master sets that I have. Um, like the city one and the dungeon, or the not the city, but the dungeon and the wilderness one, uh, I've made quite a bit of use out of over the years. Uh, this one here, not so much. And I'll kind of get into that uh, just in a moment here. But... Uh, the first thing I want to do is just kind of show off the uh, the packaging here. So it does have the sort of familiar looking uh, Dungeons & Dragons logo that we've seen on the character sheets and the adventure grid so far, with the only difference really being the coloration in here. Uh, the character sheets, if I recall correctly, was just all gray inside, and the ropes was gray. Uh, well, ropes were gray, not was, but they were gray. Uh, the tile, uh, the adventure grid, had red, so like the rope was red, and there was sort of the red uh, detailing work there, and these tiles all have the uh, the blue look to them. Uh, so like I said, this is the one for the city set, and just uh, on the side, you just sort of have your conventional fifth edition looking Dungeons and Dragons stuff um, with the logos, and on the back here, if I can get out of the glare, it says civilized doesn't mean safe. Uh, add excitement to your tabletop Dungeons and Dragons game with these full color dungeon tiles. Easy to set up and infinitely expandable, these dungeon tiles allow you to create the adventures you want to play. This box set, or sorry, this box contains 16 durable double-sided dungeon tiles featuring city streets, buildings, sewers, and other terrain elements that dungeon masters can use to stage exciting encounters. Use these tiles to make fantastic city maps to enhance your tabletop role-playing game experience. And for use of the Dungeons and Dragons role-playing game, uh, the retail price is $24.99 US and $33.99 Canadian. And as a Canadian citizen, the $33.99 is what I ended up paying. Uh, now, by comparison, we have the Dungeon Tiles uh, Master Set for the city back from 2010. So these are about seven and a half to eight years old at this point in time. And uh, so this one here uh, retailed for $19.99 uh, US and $23.99 Canadian, so I kind of missed that that uh, pricing, but there are also six extra sheets of tiles. Uh, so with the city one, the reason that um, I'm actually kind of looking forward to opening this one up and having a look is the city set from D&D Essentials was actually kind of disappointing. Uh, in that with the dungeon set and the wilderness set, they all had sort of like large um, you know, tiles that had um, for the uh, dungeon one, uh, they had like a complete like uh, tavern, or um, there was one set of sheets that had a like a, a library or sort of like a uh, a shop kind of idea, maybe like a major shop with you know shelves of books and other things. And this one here, I thought was going to be the best of them all because you know you would have some pre-generated buildings, so you could use things like. Um, you know, again, to have a uh, another tavern, an inn, so with like rooms and things like that, uh, as well as uh, just some like shops and you know, it's just some stuff that you could have like city streets uh, with you know market stalls and stuff like that. And it just really didn't seem to have a lot of what I was hoping for. Uh, there were some things that were kind of cool. You had like the docks and things like that, um, but for the most part, instead of giving you full buildings. 
it gave you parts of buildings that you would have to sort of go and try to expand and try to create something. And for me, I just didn't really like that. Um, while it's sort of an okay idea, it would have been nice to have had a few just pre-built buildings to work with. So, uh, the other thing that this had was, so it had like the docks, it had some buildings, it also had some sewer pieces, which I think are further down. I did show them off uh, in the video where I sort of talked about these things coming out in the first place, but I'll just see if I can find any really quick likes. So some of these have started coming out. Um, and the other thing with these is that there's no real room features aside from uh, like a fireplace. So you don't have like just furniture already in some of these buildings to make things easier. There are pieces that have like furniture elements to them or pieces of furniture, but you have to kind of put everything together yourself and that can be sort of uh, difficult. So if you're looking for just uh, the buildings, for example, then this was kind of a disappointing set. And uh, it was really unfortunate. Now, I really actually liked the sewer tiles. I just never got a chance to use them. And uh, somebody had commented in the video that I didn't like them. And that's not true. When it came to the sewer stuff, I actually liked them quite a bit. I just wasn't running anything that would take advantage of the, uh, of the sewer at that point in time. But there are kind of some cool things in here. So, before I open up the new version, the new sets, uh, what I'm hoping to see are some pre-built or pre-constructed buildings that you can just sort of, um, you know, larger tile sets that you can just kind of pick up and drop right onto the table would be, uh, would be nice. Uh, as well as, you know, just uh, maybe some, th you know, building pieces that you can put together but still have a little bit more uh, going on with them visually other than having, you know, instead of having to just stack up other tiles with things like furniture, tables, or stuff like that on top of the building pieces already just because that can be difficult to kind of keep everything uh, from sliding around. Uh, so this is the 2010 version. I just want to show this off because another thing that I'm wondering is how much of this set is just copied directly from this. For example, without even opening this, I can already tell that this part of the box is the exact same and something tells me when I get this sleeve off it's going to look like this as well. So I'm going to set the older version off to the right and I'll keep the newer thing off to the left just where I am uh, left handed will make things a little bit easier for me. So let's open this up and have a look. So again just even just a couple buildings something like an inn and a tavern would be absolutely great. Um, you know, a magic shop might also be kind of nice to see with like, you know, or not even necessarily a uh, magic shop, but like an alchemy shop or just something in case you decide to have encounters in a location such as that. So let's slide this off first. I don't want to tear anything. And this, ooh, this does not want to come off. I don't think it's stuck on there with anything. All right, let's just do this. Oh, oh, there we go. We're getting some movement. And, oh, God, that is on there tight. All right, so we got it off. We got the sleeve off. And what do you know? Like I said, it is the exact same, the exact same thing. Only this one's heavier because there's six extra sheets in there. Uh, so, uh, like I said, I'm thinking that there's going to be a lot of stuff that's reproduced. So, let's have a look and see, shall we? Alright, well, the first thing to note is that the sheets are all wrapped in cellophane, but I'm already seeing some ones that look pretty familiar. This one actually doesn't. So, it looks like there are some larger tile pieces. That does make me happy. Uh, let's have a look, because the previous set had a fountain, but I think it was on like a, just a, a small section, and I probably can't grab it handy, so, but it was not like a full sheet like this. It was, I think, just had one set of, uh, like one inch square kind of going around it. So, this might actually be better than I was expecting. I was kind of hoping, or expecting the worst, hoping for the best. Uh, so let's get this off. Now I know with the original sets they weren't wrapped up inside the box as well. They were just, um, you know, it was just the sheets themselves. Uh, one thing that looks a little bit concerning is 
Huh. All right. There's some of the sheets look kind of different in terms of what they're made of. It may just be the way that they're held together. But let's have a look here. So the first sheet. Okay, no, it's not that bad. It just, um, what I was kind of seeing here, I don't know if it's going to show up too well or not. But what I was seeing is, for example, there is a gap. If I can get you to focus there. So I was seeing this sort of gap here which is a little bit troubling but at the same time I don't think it's that bad I don't think they're necessarily cheaper constructed than the other ones but uh, that's just something that I noticed right away and I thought maybe it was just like a thin piece of paper over and like just and that's it and then there was a tile underneath of it so uh, like I said we got here we got this so we got this large fountain piece and on the other side we actually have a large part of a building. Now there's still not much here, but you got a desk. So this looks like it could be a business. You got a desk, you got some papers, uh, looks like some either some barrels or stools there, and you got a set of stairs going up. So I actually like that uh, quite a bit right off the top there. I'm just gonna put that back in the box. All right, and so these ones um, are sort of like cobblestone streets, which again look nice. And there we got some sewer tiles. So, again, a lot of these I'm expecting are probably going to be uh, completely uh, reprinted from the original set. And uh, why don't I see if I can just find that uh, sewer one again. And just see what I can find here. And I'm not going to compare every single uh, sheet with every other uh, sheet because that would take a lot of time, but there we also have, so that one we had from the other, oh, let's get her back out here. Actually, you know what? I may have been wrong. Uh, this looks like it was all just one big piece as well, so uh, I genuinely thought that the fountain was its own smaller piece unless they had another one. Uh, so that's interesting. But that one matches pretty similarly. The issue is, is that I don't seem to have either that or they were all just pieces that... I don't know, I'll have to kind of look through that now because I don't know where those went to. Oh! Okay. Alright, so here we've got a sewer sheet. And that sewer sheet is, so this is the new one, and this is the old one. So it looks like, and on the other side it's all the same. So yeah, it does look like the 10 sheets are definitely uh, full-on reprints. The only thing I can't seem to find is that, oh no, I did find the larger, larger tile, didn't I? I'm a little disorganized here, so. Is that... Okay, yeah, so I think the larger tiles were different, no? Okay, there there we go. Anyway, uh, so these are the old ones. So I just kind of want to set those aside. So yeah, it does look like, uh, I guess it's been a while since I really thoroughly looked at those. Uh, so it looks like the ten, there are 10 sheets that are full-on reprints, but that one with the... Uh, the building with like the the tape with the business sort of looking thing there with the stairs. I don't remember seeing that. So to me, that one looks like it may be maybe a different tile. And so here we got just some stuff down at the docks. And so that one looks very familiar because I think I have that already punched out there as well. So it does just reprint for the most part just these portions of, uh, of buildings and this one doesn't even line up so I don't really like that at all they don't actually this part just weirdly doesn't conform to the oh you know what these are two separate pieces here okay 
That's starting to make sense now. All right. Um, so this looks different because there's a little divider there. All right. All right, I'm figuring this out now. And then we got just some walkways, some wilderness stuff, some more uh, building pieces and docks. So I want to set out. I'm interested to see the six different different uh, sheets and see what's on there. I mean, things like even stuff that would look like a thieves guild hall or a mages guild would be kind of interesting. So here we got some um, carts being pulled by like oxen or horse, uh, sewer grate, looks like a forge, magic circle. Um, so like I said, these smaller tiles aren't bad. The issue that I have is that unless you want to stick them on with some sort of like a uh, sticky tack or something along those lines, when you put these smaller tiles on the larger ones, they're going to slide around a lot. Uh, looks like we have another one of these. So is that a duplicate? Oh, that's a duplicate. Oh, I don't think I like that. All right, let's see if I can find that one again. It was one of the one of the earlier sets. All right, I want to see if that is actually a duplicate or if it's just very similar. Not that necessarily having duplicate parts of the sewer is a bad thing, but those are two sheets that are the exact same and front and back. So that is a little disappointing and something tells me that the, so the six sheets are probably made up of duplicates. Which is not great. So I had that one out earlier on the other set in the fountain there. So there are some like stalls and stuff that you could have for like outdoor uh, outdoor marketplaces. So depending, it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but oh, this is different. I don't think any of the sheets. Hey, okay. So this is actually different and thank God for that. So. This one actually just has some building tops, um, which the other set didn't. So if you want to sort of set up a street thing and you have like an alleyway in between some buildings, you've actually got some building tops. So I like that one. That one's pretty cool. Uh, these ones also look different. So there's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so four of the, of the sheets that are definitely not included in this one. Uh, and since there's 16, that means that there were two duplicates uh, in there as well. Because, or, yeah, I'm pretty sure there was, a, there was at least one duplicate sheet. I'm pretty sure there was a second one. Uh, but this one is more along the lines of what I would have wanted. And so that's actually kind of cool. So I'm glad to have this. This actually makes me a little bit happier because you've, you've got just, this looks like a, could be, you could use it as like a, a fort. It looks like it was designed to go together as like one large encounter area. So there's that there, although where is the fourth corner? Oh, there's some on the other side as well, okay. But you wouldn't have be able to have... What do we have here? I was wondering... No, nope, that's more sewer. So the downside is now maybe there was supposed to be a fourth sheet so that I could actually have um, just one large building there, but this is pretty cool. I like these ones. I like these ones a lot. Uh, I like, you know, you got like the throne there, uh, which you have for sort of like a leader type thing. So if you're storming an enemy stronghold or a fortress or enemy castle, these ones are going to come in pretty handy. Like I said, the only thing that I wish is that there was a fourth one with these on it. Because what you're going to have is, um, you know, if you wanted to build, have, sort of have one thing all laid out at once, um, that's not gonna happen. You have to kind of do it as you go type of thing. But these are nice. I like these ones quite a bit. It's just missing, like I said, the fourth one would have been nice to have had uh, the ability to just have this whole thing sort of lay out all at once, which would be cool, but it's, it's better than nothing. I will say that uh, for sure. And, you know, if you just, if you have a limited table sp uh, tabletop space, then, you know, having to uh, remove one to put the next one down is totally fine as long as you can keep it straight. But here we got like a uh, looks like a guard room, so you got weapons racks, 
which is great. You've got a seat where, or a table where people are playing cards on the other side. All right, so that is pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, so we got 16. Uh, why don't I actually, just because they're all numbered, I wanna see those two duplicates and, whoops, and uh, see if maybe it was just an error with my packaging before I totally condemn them. Uh, so, which is the coast? So that's 15B and 15A. Okay, so there's sheet uh, 16. So 16 and 15 are in there. So we got 14, 13. And that's 12. Okay. Uh, 11. And that one is different. So here we got, so this one is 10, and no, this is 2, okay. Uh, and it's hard to see, but right here is where it has it listed as 2A for this sheet. Uh, the 2B actually shows up a little bit easier, so why don't we do that? So we got 2B, and then we've got uh, 10A. So these are intentional duplicates which is a bit of a bummer, but there you go. All right, so those are the Dungeon Tile set. So this is the Dungeon Tile City set. And um, I kind of got a lot of my thoughts out as I was opening this up and showing it off in the first place. But as sort of a final thought, um, the pluses and negatives. So I'll do the negatives first just because I don't want to end the video on a negative note. So the downside is that a lot of these are reproduced from the set that came out uh, eight years ago, or seven and a half to eight years ago. So that's a bit of a down, downside. Um, so if you have the original set of these tiles, you're, you really have to ask yourself if it's worth the, you know, 30, like in, as a Canadian, uh, for me it was $36 after tax. Um, there's, only, there's only six sheets that are technically different than what came in the other box set. In fact, one of them was a duplicate, so there's only five sheets that you are getting that are going to be different from the set that you would have had if you bought them back in 2010. So the question is, is are those five sheets worth the extra $35, $36 uh, over what you had before? Now, if you used these tiles a lot and you wanted to get more out of them, then the great thing is that you have a second set. So if you wanted to build, make these buildings or have a really large sewer, then you can do that. And if honestly, if they had to duplicate any of the tile sheets, I'm glad it was the sewer one. And you know, with all the intersections, like, well, this is the, from the old set, but this one here. Uh, as far as the comparison goes, this one feels a little, the older set feels a little more textured. I mean, they both look the same, but it just, you kind of feel the texture a little bit more on the older tiles than the newer ones. The newer ones seem a little glossier. Um, so the other downside, that's pretty much the, the biggest downside, is the fact that um, it is very, very similar uh, to the previous set. And even though this only had 10 sheets, you're getting 11 sheets that exactly match the first 10 that came out way back at that point in time. On the positive side, the five new sheets that are added in here are really nice. I like having the building tops, for example, if you wanted to make an alley-based encounter. To have these buildings here, to have sort of the rooftops, uh, or if you wanted to have a battle on rooftops, which is something that, you know, I've seen done in other gameplay sessions, you can actually have the rooftops set up and the player characters can sort of move their miniatures across as they jump from roof to roof if they're being like chased sort of thing. So that is actually pretty cool without having to simply use the lid. And this way you can actually have spaces in between the, uh, the homes because I don't think all these buildings would actually be directly next to each other. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the other three sheets that have the dungeon sort of, or the, um, the keep kind of look to them with like the throne, uh, the entryway with the, the guard station, weapon racks and all that stuff. Those are really cool, but this set should have had one more of those so that you could have it all laid out at the same time. 
Um, so there you go. Those are the brand new Dungeon Tiles Reincarnated. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. For me personally, this set, while it has had some things in here that I like, and I do consider this to be better than the original version because of the extra sheets and because of, you know, at least the extra sewer stuff. Um, for me, this is probably still going to be the least used of the three sets. So after they officially release, I'll be picking up the dungeon and the wilderness ones. But for now, that is what you have. So let me know again what you guys think. Uh, is this something that you were kind of expecting? Uh, were you hoping for better? Uh, let me know, because uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts on them. Do you plan on buying this particular set, or are you disappointed in this particular set? So let me know. I'm okay with it, but this is the one that's probably, again, going to get used the absolute least. The thing that I'm probably going to use the most out of it is likely going to be those sewer tiles if I get a chance to run something uh, in a sewer. So anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Funding for this video has been made possible by the awesome supporters I have over on my Patreon page. Uh, for as little as a dollar a month, each and every one of you that's been contributing has made this channel possible. Uh, I'd like to provide special thanks especially to uh, Kennedy S. as well as uh, David L. and Michael L. for your generous contributions as well which have gone a long way to making a lot of these uh, product reviews and things that I do uh, possible and available to me. So again, uh, funding for this video has been provided by my Patreon backers, and I can't thank each and every one of you enough.